Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Lodon of a Dragon House, right next to me. They look like they're not an NBA player, but he's an MMA fighter. <laughs> Joe Theroux, making his comeback after the pandemic. August 28th, he will be featuring another amateur exciting bout on our upcoming event. Now, Joe, let's once again introduce all the MMA fight fans out there. Who are you and where are you coming from? My name is Joseph Thoreau. I'm fine out of San Jose, California, at a Dark Horse gym. And I'm here to kick some ass. Let's do this. <laughs> nice and sweet and simple. Now, Joe, whole pandemic. I mean, this is the first live sports event in the Bay Area opened back up. Um, let's talk a little bit. What, what have you been for the last year and a half? Uh, man, you know, the pandemic slowed everybody down, but... Uh, you know, we all got these cards, so we just gotta play them right. It's time to get back in there. Everything's opening up, so I'm ready to rock. So during this whole pandemic, do you still keeping training? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, even since my last uh, MMA fight, I've been training, uh, constantly grinding, hitting double days. I got uh, my boy Luis, Sammy, Justin in the gym, whooping my ass every day, getting me ready for this fight. No, do you believe in ring rust? Um, I think it's a uh, kind of a uh, how would you say? How would you say uh, fiction, right? Because I don't believe in all that fairy tale shit. You know, you get in there, it's a fight, a fight's a fight, okay? As long as you've been training, you've been putting in that work, you just let those hands fly, you good? So after this pandemic, I think most of the fighter coming out on this fucking fight cards that a lot of guys, guys that pretty much off like two years, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, like, Corona set everybody back. Pretty much, so like I'm very interesting like, um, Seeing every fighter coming into this fight, where the skill set's gonna be like two years out. Some people's been, you know, on the dark side, no gyms, no work, mentally going through a little suffering, financially going through a tough time. A lot of fighters that have, that I know actually retired from this pandemic, you know, and then some of the up and comers, they never stop. They train in the garage, they run in the beach, they keeping their personal training, keep it going. So exactly, um, if you're really dedicated, no matter what the circumstances, you're gonna find a way to train. You're gonna find a way to work. Yes, so I'm. In, I'm just glad finally, you know, get our feedback, get, get our feedback on the ground, and get the first MMA show start kicks off. And um, last year we have a show like about to kicked off four weeks out, and then the city was shutting everything down. So um, very exciting. Um, seeing Joe making a comeback. Um, now, you look pretty much in the same size as before. It's your weight up or down? Uh, I feel like I put on a little more muscle since the last time around. Weight cut's not gonna be nothing. I walk around like 195, 200 right now. So, so 85 is easy peasy, let's do this. Right, and when you're so tall and lanky, and uh, when I'm watching you fight, definitely one of the strikers, one of the best amateur strikers in the Bay. Um, very interesting to watching you co coming up to this fight now. Let's talk a little bit about your upcoming opponent. Um, he's from AB MMA, um, someone that I never seen it before. I know he's. I thought he's zero and one mm -hmm. as an amateur. He lost his first fight in Florida. So, um, what do you know about your opponent and what's his name? Uh, I believe his name is Billy Sat. Um, he looks like a jiu-jitsu wrestler guy, pretty heavy, stocky, about five foot ten. Um, so I already know his game plan. He's gonna come in, try to take me down, bully me, get me up against the fence, but. I wrestled since I was in high school. I got Luis right here, my high school wrestling coach, and the whole reason I got into MMA right here in my corner. So we ready wherever this fight goes. Well, even though the amateur is not allowed a knee and elbow on the face, but knee on the stomach, it's absolutely allowed. So, you know, and I'm assuming once people get into a clinch, when you come out those big knees, that can be a very factor too. You know, like I probably gonna look forward to meet your opponent. Actually, I'm gonna meet him this afternoon at 2.30, I believe. So, um, so it will be interesting to do another interview with him nice. to see where he's coming from, what's his background, because i never seen him fight before. I see how you fight. Those long front push kick, those long one two, those are phenomenal strikers, you know? So in you six foot four, uh, five? Almost six five, yeah. Something like that. So you definitely really, really tall for, for any weight class, you know, even a heavyweight. So I'm assuming your probably game plan is gonna keep it on your feet and trying to work on strike, you know, so. Am I right? Yeah, no, I want to piece this boy up. I want to put on a show for the fans, you know, give you guys your money's worth, spill some blood on the mat, and uh, get that W at the end of the day. That's pretty awesome. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, Joe, to contact you to get tickets, how can people contact you? Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram, The Rockin', that's T-H-U-R-R-O-C-K-I-N, or you can hit me up on Facebook, Joe Thoreau, 
Um, or you can stop by my gym, Dark Horse Gym in San Jose. If you're local, pop up at the gym. I'm there Monday through Friday. Yeah, well, Monday to Friday. That's yeah. a full-time work. It's yes, a sir. dedication right there. Um, so now, do you have anyone, any special people that you want to shout out to, businesses, uh, you know, sponsors you want to you want to shout out to for this upcoming fight? Yeah, of course. We'll start off with my gym, Dark Horse Gym. You know, we've been going through a lot with our fight team. We're trying to get stuff back together now. Um, Dave Velasquez, my head coach. Uh, I want to shout out to my boy, my high, well, high school wrestling coach, my brother, my teammate, Luis uh, Light, Lightyear Vargas, um, Samuel Williams, uh, Justin Davis, all these guys. Uh, they're, they're in there every day helping me grind, helping me get to where I want to be. Now, as a young man coming up from the street, become an MM, MMA fighter, if any of the youngsters out there, teenagers that watching this video, what type of advice you want to give it out to all the young men out there stay out of trouble we're trying to be an athlete what kind of advice you want to shout out to all those young men yeah man you know growing up I, I went through a lot of adversity as a child you know being in foster care um going group home to group home just being you know raised in the streets it it gives you a different mentality you know um there's two ways you could do it you could either get locked up go to prison or you could uh Put your foot down and try to carve a path for yourself, okay? If you want to fight, you can show up to Dark Horse Gym, San Jose. You don't got to fight in the street. You ain't got to be getting in trouble. Um, MMA really helped me uh, keep focus in my life and uh, bring peace. I think the martial art in general keeps people's mind together. Stay out of trouble is definitely a good thing. So anybody from uh, out in the San Jose area looking for a good mm -hmm. MMA gym to, to, to train, to get your mind, the physical right, make sure you guys check out Dark Horse Fight Gym. Um, do you happen to have their address? Yeah, it's 96 North Amadin Boulevard, right downtown San Jose by San Pedro Square. You could uh, Google it, MapQuest it, whatever you want to do. You can hit me up. I'll drive you there myself. Wow. Uber for free. Can't gotcha. beat that. Gotcha. You're going to have to go some rounds, though. <laughs> oh, shit. That might change the whole outcome. <laughs> now, if your uh, opponent, Billy Zap, uh, watching this interview, what do you have to say to Billy? Billy, uh, congratulations, man, on getting on this card. I'm looking forward to uh, putting on a show for the fans with you. Um, one thing I got to say, just make weight. Boy, you look like a heavyweight, my man, so I don't know how easy 85 is going to be for you, but it's all good. We professional. We're going to make weight. Let's do this. Do you see yourself in the future making as a pro and then making the fighting of your career? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm trying to take this one fight at a time, do good every time. I'm going to stay active. I'm going to be fighting every two, three months from here on out. I'm 26 years old. I turned 27 in January. Um, the goal is to go pro uh, before I turn 28. Now, one more information I want to give it out. Dragon House put on a big fight card, Jung Lo Cage Fighting Series on August 28th. The one after will be November 13th. That will be the last event for the for the 2021. It's also celebration Dragon House being San Francisco for 25 years. And on that big fight card, if you haven't get on this upcoming card, make sure you guys reserve your spot. November 13th, I will starting work on a fight card at the end of this month. That will be a big celebration. We've tried to have uh, title fights from flyweight all the way up to heavyweight. So anybody want to jump on that card, reserve yourself a spot. Hit me up before before August. I'm going to start working on that card too. So um, any other last word you want to shout out to anyone else? Uh, no, y'all just tune in. August 28th, man, the fire is going to fly. Uh, it's going to be a good show. We got, what, eight amateur fights, 10 pro fights. 10 amateur and 12 pro fights. 12 pro fights, man. We got a stack card. So after uh, me and Billy Sapp put in that work, I'm going to stick around. You can catch me in the crowd. Come shake my hand. We can grab a beer and take a picture. It's all you, good. You can't miss him. He's six foot five, you know? <laughs> so now, for more information about the upcoming fight card, guys, make sure you check out DragonHouseMMA.com. And please subscribe our YouTube channel. Give us a little bit of love and support. And please follow me on Dragon underscore house underscore MMA on Instagram or Facebook, Jung Lo. And uh, we'll put on a, keep putting on the epic event for you guys. And then uh, 2022 is going to be going back to a um, Cal Palace. But hey. stay tuned. More information is coming. We'll see you guys out there on August 28th. Thank you, Joe, once again. Yes, sir. Have you on board. An exciting fighter put on an awesome show. I'm Jung Lo signing out. See you guys August 28th.